I wanted to show you how now I've I taped this with Durabont. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I was showing you how the importance of, of keeping the very center of this flat. So when I was taping it and coating it, I took my 10 inch knife at the very end and ran right down the center just to make sure this was flat. And if I only stopped there at that 10 inch mark, that's fine. Then I can float out from there. But I'm professional. So I floated it out a little bit, and then I put a second coat on. The first tape, I taped this with Durban. I coated this with topping, and now I'm about to skim this with topping too. I don't kind of like this, I don't like this light box up here, so I'm gonna straighten that out while I'm doing this. Because that's not, uh, that didn't look very professional. And uh, so let me just straighten this out a little bit. I haven't been here in a few days, because this has all been drying, so uh, so pardon me. I'm uh, oh, come on, get out of there, get out of there. All right, so now I'm going to skim this butcher, and again, too, I always like to do the seam first, I always like to coat the seam in, so I will coat this in first and then flare my edge. A little bit lighter than the original seam, right? So I'll flare that all in. I'll wipe that out. That's a very nice seam right there. That looks real easy to sand. It's, it's good. Now, again, I'm going to come out just a little bit farther. Just a little bit farther than what my original one was. I'll come out here a little bit more. And now that I have some mud on there, now I can do something with it. I, again, I really like to skim right down the middle first. I really want to make sure that's flat. Okay, now that I can come out here, that didn't have quite as much, now that I can come out here to the edges and I can draw it out. Um, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just drawing it out, making it a little bit wider. Some people would think, that's extreme. Look at this is my 10 inch knife and I am nearly 20 inches on this side and I'm going to be nearly 20 inches on this side too. But like I said, I don't like to use a 12. Normally you would have 12 inches on this side, 12 inches on this side. Uh, but because I'm doing this by hand, I flare it out a little bit more. If I'm doing this with the tools, I probably only have 12 or 13 inches on each side. That's, that's pretty much it. But wow, look at that. That is perfect. Um, you are going to sand that. You could probably paint that with a high gloss enamel and you will never know that that's there. This is again not flat wall. It's smooth wall. If I was going to do this in flat wall, now I would shine a light underneath. I would take a long straight edge and I would stick it on there and sometimes I have to coat right where the stud is because the stud goes in and I, it creates this indentation here, and I have to fill that in. That's flat wall. That's not what we do up in northern Illinois. That is not what we do up here. Smooth wall is all we do. And that is one smooth wall. You have a great day. I want to thank you for watching. Um, I hope it's educational. I hope you've learned something. Uh, so if you really like what you see, please subscribe.